So now we're going to move on to the second part of our study of the calculus. We're going to take a look at an introduction to integration. So before we start then, let's just remind ourselves what we already know, or should already know, and that is we can take a function, we can differentiate that function, and we can arrive at another function, which is the slope of the original function. Now in mathematics it's always true that if you can apply an operation to something like a function, in this case the operation is differentiation, then we should be able to apply a reverse operation. We know that differentiation is used for a number of purposes, for calculating the slopes, to finding turning points, for which we use first order differentials. We can then identify a turning point as either a minimum or a maximum using second order differentials. And we apply those in business for optimization. Try to find the best profit we can from a particular set of functions, trying to find the lowest costs that we can and so on. So we have some clear purposes for optimization. We now move on to, well, what could we do for this reverse operation here? How can we have a reverse operation and then once we've got a reverse operation, what can we do with the result? So for this thing, I'm going to move to the other side now, and we're going to try and describe a reverse operation here. So we're going to this time start with 2x on this side and we're going to try and get ourselves back to x squared on this side. Let's see what we can do. All right. So starting with 2x, remember what we did for differentiation. We took the power we put it in front as a coefficient and we move the power down. So a reverse operation would seem to be that we can increase the power on x and then divide by the new power. Let's see what happens when we do that, when we apply that to 2x squared. So 2x squared we can write as 2x to the 1. We increase that power by 1, 2x squared, then we divide by the new power, 2. So our process brings us to 2x squared divided by 2. Here the power has gone up by 1, and the new power is in the denominator dividing through. We can then take out the 2s, and sure enough, we're left with the idea that 2x, when you apply the inverse operation, becomes x squared. And because what we're doing is we're going backwards on a differentiation, we give this operation a name. We call this the anti-derivative. So we have an operation. What can we use this particular operation for? That will tell you in the next video.